Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice and smooth. Oh. Rocky road. <laughs> and not rocky like, uh, yo, <laughs> not that rocky. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Tilt your head right. Oh wow, that was so loud. <laughs> and you translate like that Egyptian thing. Your whole. You had an injury to your knee a couple of years ago? Yep, I was um, just overextended at work, at homework, just overextended my knee. And just Didn't slip on anything? Nope. Okay. And that pain was on the inside, you said? Yep, right here. Okay. And then sometimes when my knees go together, it's shooting pain. Okay, we'll check that out. I'm standing for a long time now. And then tell me about, you said you had some lower back issues, you had a car accident uh, a couple yes, years ago? Yes, I had a car ago. accident that was looked at and stuff. I'm, it's okay, but it's just pain still. So sometimes just... On the lower left side. Go ahead stand it for me. Go ahead and turn around. Yeah, this sort of point for me again. Right here. Right. 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 So these are the joints. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. The the knuckles in the lower back refer pain out laterally. So we got some spraining of the, the joints in your lower back. We're going to okay. try to move some stress away from that. I crack my neck a lot. Like, back. Every day. Okay. Like maybe like five times a day. I'm just, it's pretty bad. I'm just back and forth. <laughs> And you just feel like an itch, you feel like a desire to release the pressure. Yeah, I just feel like the pressure. Oh, yeah, the pressure. Exactly, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is. So the alignment that your neck is in determines if there's a lot of, what do I say, air bubbles and swelling in the joints. The more your head is forward, the more the joints swell up, and then you'll feel this kind of desire to release that pressure in the joint. Yep. The alignment that we're going to try to work on in a minute is what can relieve that permanently. So adjustments will make it, you know, you'll, you'll pop it, it'll feel better for a little bit, but because the alignment's not correct, after an hour you feel the need to pop mm -hmm. it again. So the head's a little bit forward, not too bad, about an inch, half inch forward from your shoulders. The neck looks pretty straight to me. It'd be hard without an x-ray to know for sure, but when the neck is straight, the joints get a lot of swelling in the lower neck. Part of how I'm gonna help you is two ways. One, you're not gonna feel the desire to pop your own neck, and then by getting your whole neck working, you won't feel the need to. Yeah. So, or you, you won't even be able to actually. So, you know, you're, if your neck is all moving evenly, they all. This model. Yeah, when I went to the chiropractor last, they said my neck was should be bent like the other way, and it was mm. bent this way. Kind of reversed. Wrong, yeah. Right. That's going to make the joints feel a lot of pressure. Okay. So when they're bending all evenly, it's hot. It's hard to pop any one segment, right? Yeah. If you're able to. If, if some parts are stuck, yeah. then you can pop the areas that are hypermobile, that makes sense. Okay. So part of what the adjustment does is we want to go through and get the whole neck bending evenly. Mm -hmm. A nice trick there, Ed. That's it. <laughs> so you want to get the neck bending evenly so that you're not feeling that tension. So your left shoulder is markedly higher. We're talking about a, almost a inch higher on your left side. Has no x-rays are taken of your back? Uh, yeah, they didn't mention it. Your, your whole, your, your, essentially you're in what we call right avoidance. Your neck, it starts off as actually a head tilt. So when you have an injury on the right side of your neck, your head will tilt left. And then because if you walk around with your head tilted, it makes you dizzy. Mm. So essentially, we call it a writing reflex. Your eyes are going to seek the horizon. And so there's more of a, and your, even your trap here is a lot more developed on your left side. And then on your right. The shoulders are rounded forward. Nobody, nobody shipped you out like this before? Uh, I mean, I had a chiropractor maybe in like, what was uh -huh. it, August of 2020? Mm-hmm. After my car accident. I got you. Just feel your hips a little bit in your hips. And then I was worked on with, by this massage lady um, for a while. She like did like a big knot. I felt a release on my right side. Okay. But I'm still. All right. We just have, like I said, your body's looking for relief. Generally, yeah. this is. And this is part of what will you make all that tension in your neck is you're in avoidance on the right side, which is going to make those joints swell up on one side. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Then head back for me. Let all the air out. Let it all go. Here we go. Deep breath in for me. There we go. Head straight. Let all the air out. There we go. Deep breath in. Head back. <laughs> we got work to do. That first that yes. first segment was pretty tight. So if this area is tight, then you overstress the joints in your lower back. Oh. The joints in your lower back will refer pain out to kind of glute hip area when the lower back is inflamed. Mm -hmm. Look over this shoulder for me a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. 
All right, I got you. Bless that for me, good, beautiful. Exhale. Let's go face that point, okay. Right, yeah. So when I feel your neck, your, look, your head is straight forward with your torso right now, but all the bones are sticking out on the right, and this is partly also why your left shoulder is high. This is, you have an injury, I don't know, probably a while ago on the right side of your neck mm -hmm. that you've just learned to tilt away from. And then over time, the head has to, the eyes have to be level, and so the left shoulder being high is a domino effect from a neck misalignment. Oh, wow. I think of it like a bedroom. If you walk in, or any room, if you walk into a room <laughs> and there's glass and you know broken TV and filthy couch, nobody wants to spend time in that room, right? Yeah. Maybe some people would, but <laughs> the idea is that you'd go in there and remodel the room, put brand new furniture, fixtures, TV, that makes sense, and, you, mm -hmm. and your body will start to occupy a place that used to be damaged. That makes sense once you fix the area up and remodel it. And so this, to me, the right side of your neck needs some remodeling. God, I think it's already moving, yeah. Oh my gosh. There you go. Wow. I got your head. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. So you're used to seeing some marks on the skin? Yes. <laughs> There's going to be a mark right here. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any issues, sinuses, ears, any? Um, I have uh, tonsil issues. I have tonsillitis. Mm -hmm. They. I have to get them removed, I guess, because they're so large. And this was diagnosed more recently? Um, yeah, in the last two years. Mm -hmm. um, and I have, like, I would see it swell up on the, my, on the my right side of my jaw. Mm -hmm. and, uh, more on the right side? Yeah, my right side. Mm -hmm. It was pretty bad. Right. So the right side of your neck is all blocked up, right? Okay. The left side is abused and actually flowing properly. So all your oh. constrictions are going to be on the right because of that injury. So you're going to have ear issues on the right, sinus issues on the right, you know, the, the lymphatic drainage, the sewer pipe drainage on your face is completely separate from left to right. Mm -hmm. So it won't even pass the midline. The issues will go right up to midline and they won't go to the other side because they're two separate networks. Well, do you know what your tonsils, they're, they're your first line of defense. defense yeah, I right? know. They're your, they're your first uh, responders, let's call them. I just have a huge disparity. The left side here is nice and soft. Yeah. And then the right side here yeah, is just hard. like, the Hulk. <laughs> it ever. does feel like that. Oh, oh my so, gosh. This all, like I said, this drains the ears. So I asked about the ears and sinuses because these are the, yeah. the drain lights are right in here. And right. a little deeper here. I got you. Really have it. A little deeper. Come on. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, I'm done. All right, this. Greedy chiropractor. When you pop your neck, you're mainly gonna loosen what's already loose. And the last ones that you pop are the ones that are stiff. So the areas that are loose get continually looser, right? And then the areas that are tight remain tight. Mm -hmm. And so we have a larger and larger contrast and disparity between the tight and loose areas. You can start to see it coming out right there, Carlin. Feel that right there? There's a, yeah. little, there's a mark already appearing. This is oh. the congestion. Mm -hmm. So even when we're stretching your neck at the end of the visit, we're going to have you have your head back into the right a little bit. Okay. And we're going to try to push more on this right side. To, that's how we're going to level out your shoulders. Okay. Feels rocky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm Like you notice this lymph node here? Have you mm -hmm. noticed that before? Yeah. This is another, this is what drains down your neck. This is, you know, like I said, this is the tonsillitis. Oh. This is all in the category of your sewer pipes. And because there's tightness in your neck, throughout mm -hmm. your neck, there's blockages that need to be released. Yes, I definitely need that. The drain lanes start at your kind of the side of your nose that go up above your ear and then down the back of your ear, down your neck is how the is the path. So this is right in the path.
oh, of those drain lines. stretch essentially yeah. holding your head over that right side that's part of why you don't like to sleep on your right yeah. you want to hold and then it takes about 20 minutes for things to change so the adjustment can make the joints feel better relieve some symptoms but ultimately we have to mold and get that what they told you at the previous chiropractor's office that your neck didn't have the right curve mm -hmm. to do that we have to stretch the lordosis back to your neck and so this is to make your neck supple and loose and then we're going to mold nice. I'm going to examine that knee. Let's go. Pull, let's relax. When I do this, is there any pain? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it a little harder. Anything? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to push. Here we go, just keep sitting. Nothing? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm just going to have you compare it though. I want you to compare that to. Nothing? Mm -mm. Same thing? Yeah. So they feel identical? Okay. This one does feel a little stronger though. Okay. Hey, you want to do this? Mm, just, mm, not really, just not a little really. discomfort. Not okay. much though. So. Hey? Mm, no. Not really. Okay, I want you to compare though. Okay. No. Now, does it, when you walked in today, was it hurting on your knee? Uh, no. Um, mainly when I work out, I, I can't work out after the first day because it's just so bad. And I know it's because it, it like, exasper exasperates it a little mm -hmm. bit. And when I, like, stand for a while, um, it's pretty much the only times. But since I've been sitting a lot for work now. Okay. Just in general, when you have a hyperextension, meaning that your mm -hmm. leg tries to go straighter than it can go. Yeah that would injure your anterior cruciate ligament, what we call the ACL. Okay. And that ACL is checked when I, you know, when, it, when I have your leg like this and I pull, that okay. would stress, I'm trying to pull the tibia yeah. forward on your femur. Now, it must be mild. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, I, I guess I get a car yeah. over here and help me, but it, you know, it's, <laughs> no, it's not. It didn't feel, if it was, yeah. If it was any moderate level of tear, you yeah. would kick me in the face. Yeah. yeah. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> So well, that's good. I'm not, I checked the one thing, they have two ligaments on the side called your medial collateral and your lateral collateral ligaments. Those check lateral movement of the knee and those aren't injured either. So okay. because it wasn't hurting when he came in, maybe it's not yeah. as inflamed as it was before. Okay. The treatment for the ACL to me is to, really the ACL's job is to prevent sliding motion on the meniscus. So the main expensive structure in your knee is the meniscus, which is where I pointed to in a minute when, mm -hmm. when you're sitting, which is right in here. Oh, okay. So the, the cartilage called the meniscus is non-regenerable. The job of all those four of those ligaments is to prevent injury of that meniscus, oh. right? So the more you have lateral motion or sliding motion, that ages that meniscus. So okay. part of what I do is to try to, my treatment is all aimed at rehydrating and helping the meniscus last longer. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the muscles on the inside of the thigh, for instance, if you exercise these muscles out a lot, yeah. these muscles will bind up the meniscus on the inside. Okay. I find it right here to be a large culprit for yeah. meniscus issues. So here, so part of, once your head over the run, so, so look at me, but yeah. yeah, no, I'm like, I'm like trying to look at you, but like, cheater, doing you uh, more, you're here. messing we'll it all up. Move up. Move up. Okay, there okay. you go. There you go. Nope. I want you tilting that head to the right. I'm seeing you, I'm like, no, go right. Fine, we're just still staring at the ceiling. Okay. Oh, wow, that feels lovely. Yeah. I'll show you in a minute when we go on the ground, a stretch to open up the meniscus. They call it fixed firm. Do you, are you familiar with any yoga stretches at all? Uh, yes. So there's one where you're essentially sitting in between your thighs. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to lay back and then stretch. Okay. 
the quad is how you open up the knee, allow it to heal. That's where it comes from, right here. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Wow, I thought the left was tight and then it came over here. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, right, right. Oh, yeah. It's the same story as your neck. The right side uh -oh. is way stiffer over here. Right. This is analogous to the right upper part of your neck. Yeah. Wow. Kind of has a little bit of a crunch to it. Yep, I feel mm -hmm. that. <laughs> left side was at least smooth, but this is the yeah. overstressed side. That's why you're hurting on the left. Okay. But it's because the right, so when we're on the stretch in a minute, we're going to try to get more pressure on the right, just like your neck. Getting this right side activated and loosened up. Wow. It's all got to be untangled. Okay. All right, 10 more seconds. Here we go. 10. I'm going too hard. Five. Okay. No, I, I think I can tolerate. One more? Okay. Well. All right. We'll go deeper on this two. Yeah. People get off the table at the end. I almost went out to vomit there, Ed. No. Okay. Please let me know if I'm going too hard. So the faster the mark comes out tells you the more that's in there. This is where the congestion is, why you're spraining the joint on the left lower is a compensation because the right middle part of your back is tight. That's really a domino yeah. from your head being tilted left. I was telling the patient the other day, I said the OG chiropractors, they only worked on the <laughs> upper neck because yeah. they, they knew that everything else was a domino. And I'm looking, oh, okay. at, I'm looking at the girl and you know, she's like, like close to 50, you know, and I was like, you don't even know what OG means. She's like, um, yeah, no, I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> like original gangster, you know. I old guy. Old guy, oh gosh. <laughs> original the originals, yeah. Did you know that? Original <laughs> no, I did not. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <See you. laughs> Quite extensive over there, sorry. <laughs> All this tension isn't your friend. We gotta let it be evicted. Yeah. <laughs> gotta, don't don't quote it. Let it go. No, <laughs> no, no frozen. <laughs> gotta let it go. Can't say let it go anymore. Until I know, right? <laughs> gone movie. Jeez. Of course, my girls are like, it's too babyish. <laughs> it's interesting how Frozen's like a very short phase. Yep. Yeah. At least for my kids and. There's a show called How to Train Your Dragon Aww. that they've loved for like forever. It's like transcended <laughs> age. But Frozen was like two years. Yeah. And then it's like, Dad, we're not talking about that anymore. <laughs> like Paw Patrol, you get like one year of Paw Patrol. It's like, That's funny. Your Dad, I don't like Paw Patrol. I had Paw Patrol shoes last year, not this year. <laughs> yeah. oh, Disney Channel, Hannah Montana, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Wizards right. of Waverly Place. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not Hannah Montana anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Finally <laughs> sacked. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay. That's right, you can't. Night and day difference here. Yep, I feel it. Nice and smooth. Oh, yeah. Rocky road. <laughs> and not rocky like, uh, yo! <laughs> not that rocky. <laughs> that was pretty impression. <laughs> We're like the ice cream. No, I know, I was going to say, not like, that <laughs> rocky. like the marshmallows. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. You also have an Adrian in your life, so that's very appropriate. Adrian! His mom's, mom's name Adrian. is Adrian. Oh, really? Adrian! <laughs> Yo, Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy! It's that whole left. So the pain down oh there on the gosh. left lower, but yeah. the right middle is where it's all that's locked up. Insane. You gotta release all that, and then we're, when we're stretching a second, yeah. we have work to do. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Breathe in for me. Oh boy, yeah, exhale. There you go. So, all right, breathe in for me. Exhale. Yeah, breathe in for me. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Yeah, right there. Hold on. I know. You okay? Yeah. You okay? All right, here we go. Exhale. All right, it's okay. We're good. We're good. It's okay. That's a tough one. <laughs> That's a tough one. Breathe oh, breathe. like yeah, this? Perfect. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Relax your shoulders. I got you. Exhale. Here we go. There we go. Breathe. I got you. Here we go. Exhale. There you go. You okay? Yep. That was tough. <laughs> yep. You put your arms down. You did great. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah. All right. Come on. There we go. There it is. There you go. There you go. I just needed more time. Right there on that right side. Okay. There we go. I think we got these pretty good. Just checking. Good. Good. All right. So above and below, this joint, this is what we checked on your side, making yeah. sure this SI joint's moving. This is what can, uh, maybe 20, 30 percent of the stress off your lower back. That middle back's probably worth 70, 80 percent of, oh, wow. of why your lower back hurts, but there's definitely, sitting locks this joint, so this is where trying to reduce your sitting can reduce the stress off your lower back. Yeah. It stabilizes your back more and then keeps this joint mobile so that not all the bending's happening at the bottom. Felt that. What? <laughs> she's a joint. She's she. <laughs> Try to get that head over to the right. Oh, Good job. I know, I know. I'm going to keep picking on you. Being so yes, mean. You have to, you know. <laughs> Got to get the head to the Please. right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me check out the jaw. 
It's like right I here. I heard it crack a little. Yeah, this 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 masseter is definitely all spasmed, and then this one's not as much as it. Yeah. yeah. There's almost no contraction over here. It's a muscular contraction, which then causes a joint inflammation. So, uh, okay. the more the head goes forward, the more this muscle gets tight. So, you know, I don't how much it can be, you know, adjusted yeah. like in that sense. <laughs> I, it's. It's as much as can be adjusted in getting your body and your head back. So that's what I did earlier by arching you back. Getting your body more upright is going to relieve the tension on your jaw. Okay. All right. So when you see people, other chiropractors go in there and do the whole like. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like going like this and trying to. Yeah. I don't like that. Right. I don't think that's the TM. I don't want to be jamming the TMJ like that. It's not TMJ. It's not the TMJ's fault. It's just feeling that way because of the position of your head to the shoulders. So we gotta release this soft tissue spasm here. Get some of that soreness out of here. Yeah. Your right shoulder is so much higher. I wanna yeah. Yeah, work on stretching this. You're gonna notice this in a minute when we're, when we're stretching your back. Your one hand's gonna more easily get to the ground than your other. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not so well. And oh, wow. Yeah, you go. Let that shoulder relax back. It just you're holding so much tension here. I know I do hold a lot of tension. This is where there's something happened. There's there's injuries that okay. <laughs> either the car and maybe the car accident with yeah. the shoulder strap and you know like these are little lymph nodes in here we can feel like there's definitely oh, been oh wow. yeah I definitely feel a lot. There's been such constriction for so long yeah. that the sewer pipes are having trouble draining. Wow. So the stretch is where you're trying to bring your arms above your head, okay. kind of like this. This okay. is the stretch, and you might find that one arm <laughs> goes a little farther. Yeah. You want to keep, keep okay. them together. You want to work on getting your arms back, and we're going to do this at the same time when we're stretching your back, above your arms to the side, okay. and then we're going to work all these angles, you know, getting your letting your arms just relax back, and then you're going to work all these. <laughs> oh, all, okay. all those angles got to be worked angles. on. Okay. I'm going to have you press back with your elbow here a little bit. There we go. It's okay. I think we're press back. It's okay. This one might look up for me a little bit for me. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that one's more forward. Yeah. I've tried doing this before myself. <laughs> she tried. She's like, she's like, I've tried to crack my own ears. Oh, it's funny. All right, go ahead and tilt your head to the right a little bit for me. To the right. Right. A little bit. Tilt your head right. No, oh, no, I think you got it. Must be. Tilt your head right. Oh wow, that was so loud. That was crazy. <laughs> like, wait, you're still there. <laughs> wow. Okay. I got you. The bottoms you've gotten tilt. Yeah, you got yeah I think I got those. The bottoms, but, but, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. The bottoms out there. You want your head to go over the device. Okay. So you're working on getting that curve. This is open here on the front. So the incorrect position would be, <laughs> yeah. you know, my chin's down, my head's not going over it. This is yeah. not right. Nor do I want it all the way in your lower neck where it's too low. Okay. I kind of want it middle, Goldilocks, middle, upper neck. And we're going to have your head back, and then we're going to do a little bit of right, actually. Remember how that right side, we're going to... Yeah. So if in doubt, just keep your head straight. But we're going to try to see if we can... Go to my right. Get a little more pressure on that right upper for the first handful of times that we do this. We gotta start stretching that right side. To get off, you don't lift your head up off. You sort of gently lift your head up with one hand. Grab the device, lay your head back. Going to my yes. Right. Okay. We have to try to <laughs> like it feels weird. <laughs> I know. It's cause yeah. your neck really no, yeah. I have to. Okay. Bring it back for me. We're gonna have your head there we go. Just sort of back. And then a little bit of right, if that makes sense. So your head's turned to the right or tilted to the right a little bit. Get the idea? Yeah. Just to get to work that. We have to start ungluing. <laughs> your neck likes to pinch.
pinch on this left yeah. lower part and then stretching that. And even when you get up in a second, we might try to just sort of stretch your head to the right. There we go, lay the head back, come on, there we go, come on. And then every minute you move down one inch, so you roll, get the idea, breathe. I know, your, your hands should go forward. Oh, uh, okay. On your chest and shoulders, yeah, we gotta open all that up. Definitely. So. Feels good. It just, you know, it's the same, well, tw so 40 minutes ahead, yes, ideally, if you have 40, like I said, if you can't do everything, at least do the next stretch, yeah. you know, if you have, but if you want to, you know, um, try to get time on both. It's, it's the adjustments, like I said, just to prep you for this, and this is, okay. this is the, the cherry on top, this is what's going to do it, so. To the right, and I'm just going to help stretch a little bit here. You okay? Yeah. Right, we'll turn That's all got to get right there. And then you have to kind of, what you do is actually, my dad would put people on treadmills <laughs> with their head tilted that way, and then over time that would reset that riding reflex, but wouldn't stand up and look at you. Yeah. And you just like, you favor, it's that, that left shoulder likes to rise up. It's going to be, it takes 20, 20 minute sessions on those stretches yeah. to get your head, when you, when you no longer, when your head will go this way, then you won't have that desire to, but it's a, what other stretch can you do? You know, right translation exercise we could do. One of those, okay, one of those cups, you know, and trying to get your ear. So it's not a head tilt okay, so, so much as a, as a ear okay. pressed to your shoulder. Should we come over here? Try it. Just push, your, push your shoulder that way. There you go. Bring your right foot a little closer to the wall. Uh, bring that right foot a little closer. There you go. Perfect. You got it. And then you're, you're trying to do is, yeah. there you go. Yeah, you're just translating. Get the idea? Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, then hold for two seconds. So you hold two seconds and then just let it go. And you translate like that Egyptian thing. <laughs> You're holding two seconds and then letting it go. Like this. Yes, without rotating, no rotation. Oh. So, <laughs> like so, so we might want to, it's, it's just a translation, not a, a okay. rotation as much. It's just, like, there you go, oh. there you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> she, has a, she has an injury on the right side of her neck which causes a neck tilt. So she has a left head tilt. If you walk around with your head tilted, it makes you dizzy. So her right shoulder has dropped to right her eyes. It's called a writing reflex, which makes her left shoulder come up. So it's a, it's a left tilt causing a right drop. So if we tilt her left, it's gonna further, right? So the more her head is tilted left, the more her left shoulder is gonna need to come up okay. to right. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have to get her head tilted to the right, hold it there, translate to the right. So we call it, there's three stages we call it. It's tilt, this, and then it actually ends up on translation. The, the third phase of misalignment is first is head tilt, second is shoulder drop, third is just head translation. So we're, she's in that second, almost a third phase. So the, the correction is to right tilt and to right translate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you're great. Okay. Very good. Thanks for dropping in. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate everything. Good job. <laughs>